Well, because <laughs> he, he's bracket. winning. He's doing good in bracket. He yeah. has no reason to lose. Like I forget decently. Like I think I got ninth today. Hit ninth again. Uh, sad. But I don't uh, even know what I placed. I didn't. Even, I didn't care to look. But as of right now, what I'm gonna look at is this match because I'm expecting a lot of cheeky plays from Tim and a lot of confirmed, guaranteed stuff from uh. Serac. That's kind of the story between these two players. Yeah. Tim Prater knows a lot of doc tech. I think he frequently talks in the doc discord. Uh, so he knows all like the confirms, but the way he plays is pretty, pretty janky sometimes. Absolutely. Uh, making sure that you're able to be oppressed and you honestly don't know exactly what Tim wants to do all the time. But I feel like that's also sometimes countered by Serac's guaranteed play, playing super safe. He's probably one of the most defensive players in St. Louis. Mm. The way he dash dances around and making sure that you're able to be oppressed in when you're at ledge and things like that, and just running away from you all the time. <laughs> and that's the thing, uh, Srak play, the way that Srak describes his play style is just like, he likes to be right out of your range, and then seeing you do a panic option. He's all about the whiffing. He's all about you doing something that you Ooh. should be doing, and that downbeat, taking the stock barely though, because he almost had, he was almost in the corner, absolutely. Oh Ooh, no! Hey. Charts is that, oh, oh no! And he just was way too overzealous with that uh, with that up B right there. So now is is he just gonna take the stock forward tilt forward tilt again? Gets up tilt up tilt. Tim is gonna enjoy that uh, lack of a kill right there. I could have been up B. I could have been. A. This is all extra credit from Tim. He should not be living this long. Not too much though. Twenty nine percent on Srak, evening up the stock count. But Tim has shown that he Whoa. has studied this matchup just a little bit more. It has revamped his neutral play. Especially dealing with people like Nestec, who's kind of just like discount Serac. <laughs> it's just, at this point, you, you gotta know it. <laughs> <laughs> discount Serac. They play Link so differently, too. It's crazy. Um, uh, Serac, though, is definitely getting a little bit shook by Tim Prater's advantage day right there. Oh, really good spot dodge coming from Tim Prater, knowing that Serac likes to wait for that get up option and going for a grab. Uh, the quickest thing you can do is spot dodge, which is a phenomenal option in this game. Forward tilt is trying to come out. Good parry coming from Srak, but nothing's going to come out of it because oh. Tim is just able to get away with that uh, pill right there. Pill. Oh my god, pill, pill to up air? Got into another one. Yeah, but that forward air is going to be able to stuff out uh, Dr. Mario a little bit more. So, uh, Tim has a, like, a thing of like attacking mm -hmm. on a disadvantage. And it's only worked because of the fact that pill's such a good move and the fact that he knows when he should. He he's usually lands real quickly if he needs to, but most of the time he kind of just back airs you or neutral airs you. And he's been doing a lot to uh, Serac, and I, I think Serac's kind of been catching up on it because, oh, here comes the bomb, barely misses. Ooh, try to go for a pill right there, but Serac was in that area where he nothing would have hit him except for, like, maybe a down air or an air. So, uh... Srak is definitely going to be able to... Up air, oh my god! Not it. Even with so much rage, too. It's pretty surprising. Surprise! I forget how heavy uh, Dr. Mario is. And back air. Tries to get the forward tilt. Grabs. Oh my god. Up throw? Not, not going to take, take the it. stock, even with so much rage. And now he's just going to wait under there and do a up tilt, I'm pretty sure. One of these, one of these players got to take the stock. Yeah, it's really um, scary. They just both want to play a little bit more neutral. Dr. Mario is so stubby, can't be able to get anything off, uh, get but that's going to be back air. air. So he's at 146. The Shrek trying to pressure that shield, but can dash attack out of it. Neutral air. Counts him with the. He dodged the pill and got the forward air. Nicely done. So we're back at it again with footsies. Gets over the pill. Neutral airs him. Trying to catch his landing. Ooh, and so. Uh, another fun fact about the the the, the way they these two play the set their sets, uh, a lot of the time I feel like Tim Prater really isn't able to get the reads off onto Srak, but this game has just been a total 180 in the way their put sets have been playing out. Srak's been uh, Srak's been kind of a press in disadvantage state, and Tim's able to do a really good job just reading the ledge options that Srak would want to do, and it just shows how much of an adaptation Tim is able to do against these better players. Really reaching for that. <gasps> That's gonna dash. be a kill. <gasps> oh, oh no! Does he get it. Jabs. And that's the thing, it's even if you mash out, you still are in frame disadvantage against uh, Link right there. Now he's the one uh, needing to recover right here. Wow, the arrow. 
Yeah, he's dead. And there was no way Tim Prater could have gotten back. That ledge was just so... Are you having a stroke? Yes. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm, to be honest, I was taking a snapshot, and I don't really... I was, like, not paying attention yeah, you <laughs> for know, a good amount of time. You know. That was a really close game one, though. Yes, it was. Uh, and we're in for a top five set. Or not, not top five set. Uh, uh, best of five. I am having a stroke, as you can see. Yeah, we're all, we're all dying. That's correct. Sharuk, yeah. Sharuk? Sharuk Khan. Really? Yes. Okay, so game two, going back to Pokemon Stadium, Tim, uh, I think, was playing phenomenal that, that game. I think he was just put in disadvantage, and Dr. Mario was kind of abused right there, making it so that... Uh, Nerf, Nerf Link. <laughs> please, Link, I don't think Link... Link's annoying to do it, but I don't think he needs to be nerfed. I think he just needs to... Uh, I don't know. Did you know they buffed up air? Did they? In the last patch. Well, sure did. Ah! What a smooth conversion. Up smash coming up from a bomb confirm right here. Strack doesn't knows a couple bomb confirms, and he's been showing it sometimes, but uh, not as much as the other links do. He's a lot more of a neutral. Wow. He got. He almost got the read right there and wanted to take the stop. Again, we're seeing Tim Prater make the adaptations more and more. And just to know that he went, he was looking for a certain height, a certain trajectory. He literally knew. Whoa. Oh my god, F Smash is going to be a little bit too slow, and Srak is trying to make it back on the stage. Going to lose the stock though. 161 though, 69. not too much, but Tim Prater is at the magical percent. Magic percent. Loses it immediately. Neutral air gets back thrown. Are we looking for the Tims? He grabs the bomb instead. Oh, and that's going to be a stage. down throw and even more combos. It's a lot of percent onto Srak right here. Just waiting in shield, Srak's able to get that grab off and that put. Moment of respect where you both hold shield. And yeah. Like, All right. Well, Who's the one who makes the first option? And is the other person gonna whiff? <laughs> That's the thing. Sometimes you just whiff. And we're seeing Tim Prater do a really good job, just playing neutral and extending that lead, 94%. No. But take it away. Up smash is gonna be able to even it up. Oh, Ooh, so what scary. A catch with the bomb. Gets up, up smash. smash. Almost taking it. Just double jumping in his, in the ledge, making sure that he was able to get back in front Sorak. of Tim Prater. Sorak looking for, for some damage, trying to get something. And uh, not going to take it too early, too in the middle of the stage, really. And Tim Prater's doing, again, an amazing job. Tim Prater's one of the best players at parrying. It's insane. That's going to be a back air. Nice. Now he's basically lapped and has a whole stock up on this rack right here, trying to show that game one should have been his. He was just put in disadvantage, and Doc sucks. <laughs> well, he's making Doc look like a nice top-tier player and top-tier character, just in general. And trying to snipe with those pills all the way down there. Yeah, it might, if it caught his double jump, it would have been super scary. Uh, you don't want to give Srak too much room, though. Uh, as we saw the last time, he was Tim Prater had the lead, but he, the moment he was put in disadvantage, it was just super scary. He needs to keep this advantage play and keep Leb's trapping Link right here. Up smash is going to be an overzealous move. Oh, try to get the jab block so he can get the forward smash, take the game. Those boomerangs uh, at the ledge right there are super scary for Strike. He definitely should not be doing something like that, uh, or else he's going to get punished. Oh, yeah. One quick miss, and that's all it takes, really. Especially Stocks against, especially against uh, Dr. Mario. The double up air, almost taking. I told you they buffed that move. It's dumb. <laughs> it auto cancels even easier now. Even easier. So they're playing catch with the bombs. Shield Back moment. Air. Yeah. Oh, oh, that oh was smart. He still got him. And oh no. Making one the best of the moment. Here's the thing though. Tim Prater has so much percent on Srak. He just needs one more confirm or a back air. <laughs> but it, okay. At this point, I don't know what to expect. Because Serac could out of nowhere pull this through. And oh, never mind. Gets the as raw. As you say that. Gets the raw up beat. Serac loves those nares onto shield because he thinks it's frame safe. Sometimes it is. But Dr. Mario has one of the best out of shield options when you're just on top of him. Up beat out of shield. The initial hitbox uh, just punishing Serac for being at a high percent and getting that stock. Tim Prater evens the setup 1-1. Srak has really bad habits. Uh, 
Two of them being nearing way too much onto shield, and when people parry it, yeah. uh, they're just able to get a super big punish. Once he plays against players that understand that, uh, he gets that's when he loses and crumbles. Another thing is up being out of shield at the worst times. He's an idiot and just panics all the time when he up speeds out of shield. We saw that the very uh, first game. Uh, we'll be seeing if he's making the adaptations, though, here on Town and City in the game three. He's really putting a lot of pressure on uh, Tim, but Tim's kind of putting it back. And both characters, Kachan, just literally trading half the time. One hits the other one, the other one attacks at a disadvantage. Tim almost did it, but he... You are an idiot. Wow, Sarai kind of throwing away that stock. I don't think he's feeling good. I don't think he's feeling good at all. He is an idiot. <laughs> it's just... Uh, I don't know what to say. He's just an idiot. <laughs> he's so quiet. That's going to be a down smash, taking the stock. He's only took 29%. He's still, for an idiot, he's still keeping up pretty well. Yeah, but he could, should, it could have been a whole stock lead up, and now he's going <laughs> to lose his game, and I'm going to scream at him. He's a fucking idiot. No oh, worry, choose like a, a friend of Shrek, so we don't have to feel bad. Everyone knows that, like, everyone thinks I suck Shrek's dick, but I'm actually his fucking <laughs> biggest hater in the world, because I know how hate. bad he is! Ah! Look at ah! that! Tim Prater going off the stock! Let me just add that little ground here real quick. <laughs> just put that there. Uh-huh. Just safe. for the 2-1. Yeah, 2-1 two one one Tim Prater. I told you, Serac was playing so well in the very beginning. Throws away that stock, and that's just the special for Serac. Just losing it in SD. It looks, it's kind of looking like Smash for Serac right here. Oh, no. Oh, it gets neutral. He's gonna get is he gimped. dead? Yeah, yeah he's, he's dead. Gimped. Never mind. Serac, again, catching back up. Kill, Gimping uh, Dr. Mario. Good old Gimps. Give me Gimper. But we've been seeing Tim Prater dominate neutral in the very beginning of these stocks, and that's all you need. This is the last stock situation for this game three. This will be determining the counterpick situation if we do go to a game five. So, uh, it's a very crucial game right Ooh. here. The bomb. Tries to get the down tilt on him for Oh my god, that get up attack. He loves get up attack too, and people have been punishing him so hard. Pulling boomer bomb in disadvantage. Gonna uh, get tr almost to get the Tims and down himself. Damn. Tim Prater Never, showing in this I can't a lot I got of frustration. He that little thing and put this thing. That, he, ha, he was running the game. SD for SD, I guess. SD for SD, indeed. And it, but it was just the worst time for Tim Prater. You know, sometimes you got to just go out there and boost your confidence. And he really went out there showing that he's like, yeah, I got this. I just got to hit you right here. And the, all he did was miss Yeah, that's the thing, though. Uh, Srak knew exactly the... Uh, win condition for Tim Prater if he got that spike. Uh, went super low and knew exactly how high up uh, Link's up B could have made it back and was just pixels away. Um, Tim Prater just unfortunately, Dr. Mario sucks. So <laughs> I, I, He had a jump and everything. I don't know if down B was going to help in that point because he didn't use it. He just went for jump and up B. So maybe he was fearing that he could get attacked. Like he was gonna just edge guard it anyway. Who and again, we're seeing great adaptation from Tim Prater, showing that his great, uh, his great ledge trapping, uh, making sure that Link isn't able to get off the well, stage I for never free. Mine. It almost took the stock. You saw the red light and everything. Ooh. Oh my God! Good rate for it tilt coming from Tim Prater right there. The bomb actually clinks with pill. Yeah. Oh my lord. So no matter how far a one of these uh, players get, the other one always catches right back up. And as of right now, again, we're just seeing a slugfest. You're just hitting each other really hard. <gasps> oh wow. no, Nair. Tim's just... not expecting Nair to really hit him. Like he thought he was just. That was the, the way back up. hit of Nair too. It was, oh God. I hate. Sometimes I hate Nairs that just stay out there, but. He just wasn't preparing, and it sent them the opposite way. Definitely would have killed if it sent them to the uh, right. Forward throw. Oh, just waiting for the grab release. Get, trying to do the roll read right there and just get a forward tilt to put him in disadvantage. But oh, it's a Tim Prater, up smash. great uh, uh, adaptation, knowing those nares are going to be coming. That's what I'm saying, though. We're seeing those parries coming out and making sure that he's punishing them for the nair onto his body right there. It's not as safe as you think, Srack. You can't just keep spamming it. <laughs> you dumbass. Big hater. You Shrek. fucking dumbass. Uh, going for the forward, uh, down forward down air is trying down. to put up more space. Forward Whoa. air himself is going to put uh, Dr. Mario in disadvantage. And we've been seeing great ledge trapping from both these players, too. Uh, I thought we were looking for the up air. I thought I was going to see it. Up smash? Oh, I knew he was trying to go for it, but uh, the pill was able to disrupt it. Uh, bomb? Bomb? Nothing. Just lets it go. Ooh, great it. ledge attack right there. Uh, booting the invincibility. But, again, Dr. Mario is in disadvantage once more. Oh, wow. Just too early to let go. He could have oh just waited a little bit longer. 
Uh, the oh. down B. I don't know if it was uh, optimal. I don't know if he was honestly looking for that. Going for ledge again. Waiting for it and getting the B reverse up B. And that's going to be a stock for Shrak. And now Tim Prater's at his winner stock, uh, winner's, winner's bracket stock right here. And even though we've seen great adaptation, Srak has just been able to stuff out Dr. Mario and abuse the character. And as he's doing right now, he's adding on that damage. He's landing with Nair, trying to confirm things, and Tim looking for a read. Uh, Ooh, not going to be enough. Could have got a forward smash out of that one, honestly. That definitely would have killed him. Oh, trying to get the two frame with the, the down air. Back air, though. Back though, yeah. 54%. Last stock situation. And we've seen Tim Prater do wonders with these last stock situations. Oh, he said the magical number. Oh, it's just a sad. Now save. it's gone. Sometimes it, it gives it, it gives us, and it takes away. <laughs> now we're seeing a lot more campy play coming from Srak, but that might come and bite him in the back because he's going to choose the the panic option of the up smash. The parry's coming out, but nothing's going to be able to get off on Dr. Mario though. Tim catching <gasps> oh up. my lord! Tim catching up. He's already passed now, in lead. Oh my god, the air dodge, he was too scared of the option. Oh, oh that's going to be the stock? No. no. Nice up B. Barely catching him off ledge and throws him down. Ooh, flips it away. <laughs> I don't want the bomb here. It's just me and you. Oh my god, is that going to be a up oh, smash right there? Trying to come out, but barely hitting. Oh my god, up air. And Tim Prater's trying to even this set up and go to a game five, but Srak wants to end it. Rage, we've seen the situation before. What we're looking for, he's going for the down B, he's hope, hoping, hoping that he fast fell to the ground. Trying to get the roll read back, and now Srax to the one, play neutral, and that's going to be the up air! Tim Prater, so close. Tim Prater has made so many great adaptations this season. Before, at the very beginning of the season, it's ridiculous. went like 2-2, two, 1-2, two, two, every bracket. Now he's making top three every single bracket.